And with this truck it's converted to run on two tanks. So I have the diesel tank on the roof and I'm which is smaller and I'm using the large tank at the back for the vegetable oil because it's larger. I always start on diesel because it starts easy, it's thin. It goes through the filter and it goes to the the valve. There's a valve here and it's selected for diesel so it goes through the valve and comes out into the engine into the injection pump the injectors once the engine is warm I use the coolant from the uh, the temperature from the engine to heat a heat exchanger and also a, f a secondary filter this is a fuel filter for the vegetable oil so I always have oil on standby once this is warmed up I switch from inside, I switch, I turn off the diesel, I turn on the vegetable oil. So now the vegetable oil starts flowing and it goes through the heat exchanger, through the heated filter. This is an electrical filter, I use it most in the winter. And it goes into the injection pump and now I'm running 100% on diesel, on the vegetable oil. I don't need the diesel. Once at the end of the day, before I turn off the engine, I'm going to purge the oil out using the diesel. So I simply turn off my valve here again with the switch inside. Now the diesel will come in instead of the vegetable oil. And the diesel will push all the vegetable oil out of the fuel system. So that now I'm running back on diesel and the next morning I can start easy without any issue. And this way I can run... Yeah, without any diesel for extended period of time.